right, algebra classes, we're going <clears> to <throat> be looking at uh, section 5.7 point slope form. These are just your notes. This is going to help you be able to do the assignment for today. Uh, here we go. You guys are very used to slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept. We've also seen standard form, ax plus by is equal to c. And you've used that in order to determine uh, the x and y intercepts of lines and stuff like that. But today we learn point slope form. And the idea is if you have a point, we'll call it x1, y1. And then suppose you have a second point, and you have a certain rise and a certain run. We have a way of writing an equation for that line in point slope form, and it looks like this. Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1. For x1, y1 is a point on the line, and m is slope. So this is what we focus on today. So let's look at the first example. It says write the equation of the line in point slope form. So m is 3, 6 is x1, 2 is y1. So if I write y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, I could take the 3 and I put it in for the m. I take the 6 and plug it in for the x1. I take the y, plug it in for the y1. And the equation becomes y minus 2 equals 3 times x minus 6. And that's the equation in point slope form. Again, just to remind you, the slope is this number right here, 3. The x value is this number right here, 6. And the point is that number right there, 2. <coughs> Let's do another one. We have x1 and y1. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus, as you can see, y1 is negative 1. You can see m is negative 4 over 5. And you can see that x1 is negative 3. Well, in this case, we can simplify it a little bit because y minus y1, we add the opposite. And x minus x1, we add the opposite. So it becomes y plus 1 equals negative 4 over 5 times x plus 3. Just a reminder, because we're going to kind of look at this on the next page, but again, this point had a slope of negative 4 over 5, and then the point on that line, it's kind of interesting, just notice here, the point on the line had an x value of negative 3. Just remember, it switched to a positive 3 due to that subtraction sign. And the y value 
was a negative one, and it switched to a positive one. You can see it ends up being kind of opposite what, what uh, it was originally. Okay? Let's try this one. Okay, we have an x1, we have a y1. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. The y1 value is 0. The m value is 1 third. The x value is 5. We can simplify this a little bit because y minus 0 is just y equals 1 over 3 times x minus 5. And that's point slope form. Again, remember that the slope of 1 third and then the point is a positive 5. No looks negative. Remember, it was a positive 5 when we began. And then the y value is 0. It, it, it totally went away over there. And one more. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We have a slope of negative 5. We have x1 is 0. We have y1 is negative 2. So y minus a negative 2 equals m is negative 5 with x minus 0. Well, this we can simplify a little bit. <coughs> if you notice, um, we add the opposite and we get y plus 2. And we have negative 5 times x minus 0. What's x minus 0? It is just x. And there's your equation in point-slope form. Point-slope form. Okay, let's flip it over. Now we're going we're gonna to switch it. Now it says identify the slope and a point on the line. So here's my equation. It kind of looks like y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so the slope should be really easy to see each time. It's just this number right here, so it's 4. And then the point, um, the x value sits, sits uh, right in this region right here. But remember, it's what number you're subtracting. So you, you don't write negative 2, you, you write positive 2. Because 2 is the number that you're subtracting. And for the y value, again, it's the number you're subtracting. You're subtracting 3. So you don't write negative 3, you write positive 3. It's kind of opposite of what it looks like for the point. Number 6, the point is, or the slope is, 1 third. But the point on the line, the x value, you're subtracting 6. But the y value, you're subtracting a negative 4. Right? y plus 4 is the same as y minus a negative 4. So therefore, negative 4 is your y value. Opposite of what it looks like for the point. I know that's new for you, but uh, you can get it. It's confusing at first, but trust me, with practice, we'll get it. Number 7, the slope, super easy. 3 fourths, just that number right there. The point... The x value is opposite of what you would think, so negative 1. And the y value is opposite of what you would think, so negative 8. And for number 8, the slope is that negative 5. The point has an x value of negative 5 and a y value of 3. It's opposite of what you think. So those are the two first two type of questions that you're going to be asked to do on your assignment. Uh, the first part is to write an equation in point-slope form, just like we looked at on the front side. Uh, the second part is going to be to identify the slope and the point on the line. Okay. Uh, but then 9 and 10 is a little bit more involved. It says given the slope and a point on the line, first write the equation in point-slope form. So first we're going to go point slope form, which is y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And then we're going to convert it to slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx 
plus b. Okay. So point slope form, I'll write it below here, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. We have m is 2, this is our x1 value is 1, our y1 value is 2. So y minus 2 equals, the slope is 2 times x minus 1. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it in slope intercept form. And what that means is, so I'm done with point slope form. That's point slope form. But now i got to put it in y equals mx plus b form. And in order to do that, I'm going to start by distributing the 2 through to both of these pieces in the parentheses. And I get y minus 2 is equal to 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. I want to solve for y, so what needs to move? The negative 2. So I add 2 to both sides. And I get y is equal to 2x. So that's the slope-intercept form. Okay, point slope form up above, slope-intercept form down below. They're the same lines, they go through the same points, but their equations look slightly different. Okay, let's try one more like that. If x1 is 4, y1 is negative 5. So in point and slope form, again, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So y minus a negative 5 or plus a positive 5 is equal to m, which is 3, times x minus 4. If I have y plus 5 is equal to 3 times x minus 4, and I want to put that in slope-intercept form, the first step to doing that is going to be to distribute the 3 to both of those values. y plus 5 is equal to 3x minus 12. And finally, I subtract 5 from both sides. And I get y is equal to 3x minus 17. That is the slope-intercept form of the line. Point slope form, right up here. Slope-intercept form, right down there. Okay, you should have a worksheet to now work on, and you should be good to go. So good luck.